Welcome to the Ed Roberts Campus, located at the Ashby BART Station in Berkeley. An example of how form and function can work together. The building is also a symbol of achievement and empowerment. This building was built as a memorial to Ed Roberts, and that one of the functions it serves. But really, it's a monument to collaboration. It's a monument to how people can come together and be stronger working as a group than they can individually. Ed Roberts was an activist for disabled people. He had contracted polio as a child and lived the rest of his life in a wheelchair. He was the first severely disabled student at UC Berkeley and went on to lead organizations such as the Center for Independent Living, the World Institute on Disability, and the State Department of Rehabilitation. Symbolically, Ed's wheelchair is now displayed in the Smithsonian Institution. He had a very uh, positive st uh, statement that he wanted to make, and he made it all the time, about how people, the public saw disabled people as more limited than they really are and how you can't let other people's evaluation of you rule your life. You have to prove yourself. Funded and created by seven disability organizations, the Ed Roberts campus lives up to its namesake. From the time of Roberts' death in 1995, it took 15 years to fund and build what's become the organizational epicenter for the East Bay's disabled community. I think that it's one of the few universally designed buildings that houses people with disabilities and that was always the intent that we would use universal design principles to build the building which included being at a transportation hub because we're such a transportation dependent community. From the Ashby BART station underground exit, the bank of elevators goes straight to the lobby of the building. An impressive helico two-story ramp reflects the philosophy of universal design, defined by intentionally designing for the broadest range of people in age and function. The ramp isn't just an aesthetic statement, but also functions as an emergency route for people with canes and wheelchairs who can use it if the elevators don't function. Similarly, the waterfall doesn't merely add to the aesthetics of the building, but also serves as audio orientation for those who are visually impaired. And the colorful textured flooring may look pretty, but it helps people with canes and poor eyesight to navigate their way through the building. Perhaps most important of all, under one roof, the building houses 13 organizations that serve people with disabilities. Collaboration was a really big deal with Ed. I like to bring people together to work together for the common good, and so um, he called it working for our shared future. One of the goals we always had was that it would be a place where people with disabilities came together to share community, to build their power, to assert their power, and to learn about their rights. 